Welcome dear students to this online platform of Crack Academy. My name is Karan and I have a fact, a question for you. So, how do you find out whether the given year is a leap year or not a leap year? The answer is pretty obvious sir. A year containing 365 is not a leap year and if there are 366 days in a year then that year is a leap year. This is what we know about leap year, right? So, see, we, we know a leap year, a leap year contains 366 days, right? One extra day in the month of Feb? Absolutely fine. I think though there is, there is no problem in it. Now, if I ask you, right, if I ask you, give me a second guys. If I ask you, what kind of year 1900 was? What kind of year 1900 was? So, it might possible that a lot of you people will say, sir, this was a leap year. This was a leap year. It should have 366 days in it. Yes? Right? Okay. Let's, let's. Let's go with this fact, huh? For for time being, huh? Now let's talk about the year 1948. If I ask you, sorry, not 1948. Let's talk about 2000. If I ask you about the year 2000, and if I ask you what kind of year it is, so it, like you will be, you people will say, sir, this is a leap year again. Now what is the reason? So many of you will say, sir, if a year is divisible by four. Then that year is a leap year. So, 1900, this number is divisible by 4, hence it is a leap year. Sir, this number is divisible by 4, hence it is a leap year. So, let me tell you one thing, dear. If you have only this definition in your head, then it is half correct. It is not properly correct, it is half correct. This year was not a leap year, but this was. How come? So, let me tell you the definition or let me tell you how to find out whether a given year is a leap year or a ordinary year or an ordinary year. How to find it out? So, give me a second. See, suppose, suppose, if you have the given year, suppose, if the given year is a non-century year. A given year is a non-century year, right? For example, 1947, for example, 1966, for example, 1972, for example, 1989, for example, 1640. These are non-century years. These are non century year now sir we were talking about leap year and you come up with this concept of century year now what the, what is a century year basically a year which ends with two zeros a year which ends with two zeros is called century year for example year 2000 year 1900 year 1800, year, uh, year 1700, year uh, let us say 2400, all these are century year, all these are century year. So, there are two things. So, before determining, before finding out, like before uh, calculating whether the given year is a leap year or a not a leap year. Before that, we should know what we should know the difference between a century year and a leap year, a century year and a non-century year. The year which ends with the two zeros is called century year. And other than this, a year which ends with single zero or a number is called non-century year. Now, do remember. To find out leap year, to find out leap year, in case of non-century year, we divide the given year by 4 
एंड इन केस ऑफ सेंचुरी ईयर वी डिवाइड दी गिवन ईयर बाय 400 राइट इफ नॉन सेंचुरी ईयर इज प्रेजेंट देन डिवाइड बाय 400 डिवाइड बाय 4 टू चेक वेदर द ईयर इज अ लीप ईयर और नॉट अ लीप ईयर in case of given century year, divide the number, divide the year by 400 to check whether the year is a leap year or not a leap year. Okay. Now, for example, let's talk about, let's talk about non-century year. For example, 19, uh, non-century year. For example, 1947. It's a non-century year. So, in case of non-century year, divide by 4. Now, 1947 is divisible by 4? No. 1947 is not divisible. Is not divisible by 4. Hence, hence, it is an ordinary year. It is an ordinary year. Now, let's talk about one more non-century year. Let's talk about one more non-century year. For example, 1944. Now check out. Is this year, is this number divisible by 4? Yes. So, this year is a leap year. This year is a leap year. In case of, in case of non-century year, we divide by 4 to check whether the given year is a leap year or not a leap year. But in case of century years, for example, 1900, in case of century year, for example, 1900, we divide by 400. Is 1900 divisible by 400? No. 1900 is not divisible by 400. Is not divisible by 400. Hence, it's a, it's a ordinary year. It's a ordinary year. Right. Let's talk about one more example of century year. For example, 2000. Now, check it out. Is 2000 divisible by 400? Yes. 2000 is completely divisible by 400. That is why, that is why 2000 is a leap year. So, I hope now you have more clarity about uh, the determination of a leap year. So, this is all from me. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please take care and bye-bye.